a social club in Sydney's Bankstown. A guest signs in at 5 p.m. on Thursday, the 20th of May, 2010. He goes straight to the poker machines and luckily wins around $200. But look closer. For some reason, he wipes away his fingerprints. The man then follows a club official to collect his winnings. Suddenly, he produces a stun gun and attacks. In less than a minute, the thief snatches the entire day's takings. The stun gun assault leaves 75-year-old Ray Kalida shaken and bruised. I didn't see him follow me. I walked back and go down there and I got in a drawer taking the money out and next thing I hear is a rattle of a stun gun. It's like ratchet. So I turned around and as he was jumping in the air, I jumped up and pushed my hand up to protect myself and I got knocked back, you know, because of a sudden jolt. What did it feel like? Like someone hit you, you know, like bang, you know. There's a reason these stun guns are illegal. They interrupt the electrical signals in the body, causing the muscles to spasm, which is incredibly painful and incapacitating. The thief used a weapon only police are authorised to carry. Can you describe how it works for me? Well, certainly on this particular device, we have an on-off switch on the side, and then by pressing this button here, we can see a spark between the contacts. Whilst pressing this button, uh, you actually be pushing this against the victim, causing extreme localised pain to the victim. Are stun guns available in Australia? Uh, no, they're not. They've got to be imported from another country, as they're not made in Australia at all. They're a prohibited weapon in Australia, and it's also an offence to carry on or possess one. Just over a kilometre away and less than two weeks later, the thief strikes again. The target? This suburban post office in Yaguna. It's 4.30 in the afternoon. This time, the thief targets a 20-year-old postal worker. He's got her into a headlock after demanding the money, used the electronic stun device on her hand, which has caused quite a severe reaction and quite a severe burn bruising to her hand. The young lady was very alarmed, very frightened. He's managed to be able to get the proceeds from the till and make good his escape. CCTV captured the getaway car. This time he's entered a three-door Toyota RAV4 with quite a distinctive bull bar at the front. Uh, silver coloured with black and yellow number plates. The car looked like this one. It's very opportunistic, but it's also very cold and callous. These people are quite vulnerable and quite easy for him to overcome. Police want to speak to this man. In his late 20s, described as Mediterranean or Middle Eastern in appearance, his most distinctive feature is long black hair tied in a ponytail or plait. The footage of this person clearly identifies who he is. There are people that would see him that would know who he is. Whether they are associates, friends or relatives, we ask that they come forward to the police. Oh, I think he's very dangerous. I think it's very dangerous, someone that does that. 